Let's talk NFT APIs and specifically Polygon NFT APIs. In this video, I'll show you how you can fetch NFTs, ownership, transactions, transfers, metadata, everything, everything NFT related from Morales NFT API on Polygon and on all other major EVM chains. Before we get into that, make sure you like this video if you like and subscribe to the Morales YouTube channel if you enjoy these types of videos. And let's dive into the content straight away. And I've linked this page in the description below. It's the NFT API page. You can see who uses the NFT API and what you can do with it. A bunch of different examples of, uh, of how to use it, what you can use it for. But I thought since we're here as developers, I'll dive straight into the documentation instead and show you how it works and how you can use it in your app. So if you go to the um, API reference in the Web3 Data API and then down to NFT API, you can see all of these different sections here with get NFT, get NFT metadata, transfers, collections, owners, market data, and NFT stats, which my face is blocking kind of, it says NFT stats. And uh, here are all the different endpoints that are available. So you can, for example, get NFT metadata for a specific NFT. You can get transfers by wallet, transfers by contract or collection, uh, transfers from a single block or from a range of blocks. Basically everything you can imagine to build an NFT application is available here. And I thought we would check out the um, get NFTs by wallet, which is perfect if you're building a wallet or a portfolio page of some sort or an NFT marketplace. And this will give you back all of the NFTs that are owned by a specific wallet address. And this is the same endpoint, by the way, that uh, the MetaMask portfolio application uses uh, to fetch NFTs here. And they, of course, use the Morales NFT API, as you could see on our homepage here. Um, and uh, they use this to fetch uh, all the metadata and images for the NFTs in your MetaMask portfolio application. And uh, how that works is that you use this endpoint, get NFTs by wallet. You can see the actual code required for it here. You just set up the Morales SDK or you can use, um, you know, just a, a simple uh, curl if you, uh, if you just want to do that instead. But here is in Node.js. And you call get wallet NFTs with the chain here, 0x89, zero, uh, zero that is the Polygon chain idea, but you can select any EVM chain here that we support and then fill in the wallet address. And then here you can try it out in the documentation, but of course you would be integrating this into your actual code base. And then you get back all of the NFTs that this wallet holds. And uh, you will also see here the, for example, the uh, spam classification that we have. So maybe these you wouldn't display in your app because these are suspected to be spam by us. Uh, but let's say we can find one that is not. Uh, so here we go, for example, I'm not sure what this is. Um, base staking something. Mm, I'm not sure this also looked kind of like spammy to me. <laughs> let's see what this is. Uh, this is perhaps something else. Uh, and uh, here you can see all of the different data that you would need like the token address, the token ID, how many they own, uh, the block number where they got it, the type of contract that it is, all of the um, token uh, URIs, the metadata, uh, and whether or not it, if it's verified or not, a uh, verified collection on OpenSea, I believe that is. Um, and uh, that's basically all you need. That's how it works. You get back all the NFT data that you could possibly want. And the same is true for all of these different endpoints. You can get... Uh, NFT transfers, let's check it out for this uh, wallet here. See if they have any transfers on Polygon. Try that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. Now we get back all of the different NFT transfers that they have made. And this can really be used to build any NFT application out there. And it is infinitely scalable. So no matter if you're a small developer just getting started, you can use Morales for free. Or if you're a large wallet looking to integrate NFTs or switch to a better, more responsive, more up-to-date NFT API that supports more chains and that has better spam protection, that has better CDN for getting the media files. Uh, that is super powerful because I haven't showed you all of the different options. You can, for example, when it comes to the wallet, uh, the wallet stuff, or anytime you query NFTs, you can ask for media items, and then you'll get the CDN cached media item so that the you get different resolutions of the NFT image. Super important if you're building something like this for MetaMask, where you cannot load the full-sized image because it would just take too long time to load. Uh, so if you're interested in, in uh, trying the NFT API on Polygon or on any other chain, go to Morales, get started for free, 
sign up for a free account, get your API key, get started using either our Node.js SDK or just simply curl request it. And um, if you're using Morales for NFT data, you can also check out all of our other APIs for prices of ERC20 tokens, for wallet endpoints, get wallet history, transaction APIs, token APIs, or even market data APIs like trending collections, top ERC20s, NFT drops, and so much more. Uh, check out Morales.io. And if you enjoyed this video, once again, press the thumbs up button, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also leave a comment below if you have any questions or feedback on the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.